thing that uh, every good teacher, uh, or at least a teacher that cares, will do is they will take the student through theory and then uh, practice. All right. And as you've been watching, maybe you've been tagging along on uh, our different shows, and you've you've noticed that pattern. So it's always important to lay the foundation, some theory, and then dive right into it. Now, I had a um, a tip from a um, fellow student. And um, we, we were talking about reducing file size, okay, reducing file size of um, images. So I want to uh, get a sample up here, and we'll, we'll talk about um, things regarding uh, file size and some of the important aspects are um, file format. File format, we'll get this on screen for you. Uh, file format is sort of a, um, what you call uh, the container for your image. And uh, you can use a container that's real bulky, uh, for example, if you're shipping something. Or you can make a container that's very lightweight and flexible and malleable, uh, such as a you know Tyvek package that you would mail. Tyvek is that really nice paper that you just can't tear, um, and it's water resistant or waterproof, I believe actually. Um, so here we have a picture on screen. It's got multiple layers. Um, we have. You know, we can save it in, in, you know, the most basic uh, format, you know, would be to save it in its uh, native format. And since we're in Photoshop, that would be Photoshop format, okay? And there's also, we'll, we'll, we'll actually do that right now. This let's keep it real simple save it right to the desktop yeah and we'll leave the layers in the profile now some of you may notice uh, <clears throat> this little dialog box that just popped up um, this this dialog box comes uh, it shows up by default it can be turned off and it's basically saying um, do you want to make sure that this Photoshop format file can be opened in older versions of Photoshop and do you want it to have a visible thumbnail if you import it into a database uh, database program um, for example extensus portfolio most versions of it going pretty far back will be able to display a uh, thumbnail of this image and without maximized compatibility checked it will give you a generic thumbnail it'll, it'll say something like Photoshop or Adobe or something like that you will not see the preview of the image uh, with if it's a Photoshop format with especially in layers um, so you know back five years ago or so maybe I would uncheck it because you know I got disks disk space issues you know nowadays that's really not an issue and I would encourage you to just leave it on as long as you're saving your images in uh, Photoshop um, I'm sorry as long as you're saving your images at 300 pixels per inch resolution you're not exceeding that into you know 900 <clears throat> And 1,200 uh, percent, you know, and 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 of course I'm talking prints. I'm talking about, you know, uh, four by six size images, five by seven and larger. You really don't need a resolution higher than 300 ppi. And uh, for those who uh, caught me there, 
they, they call it DPI, but technically it is PPI, pixels per inch, dots per inch is a printing um, uh, nomenclature. So I'll go ahead and save that. All right. Now the other uh, method is we could uh, file save as, and this started. Oh, we could save as TIFF, a layered TIFF. I forgot which version that started. Maybe version six. Uh, quite a few years back, and uh, w you know we can. So so keep the layers um, uh, checked. I hit that, and then you got your options here. And I always uh, like you know to um, do LZW compression, especially if this is my working file. If you know, this is not going to be anything that um, I'm going to necessarily be sharing uh, with anyone. I'm not going to be sending this TIFF. If I'm going to send a file that's uh, TIFF, I would I would discard the layer or not discard the layers, but I would flatten it, then save it as a TIFF without compression. Because sometimes uh, when you send these TIFFs to press. Uh, and they have these weird uh, features. Um, sometimes the, um, you know, the what's called the um, processor or the raster image processor that the, the press will use uh, will not translate it properly, especially if you're dealing with uh, sending off. Uh,